1030. All right, we will see you then, Brian. Thank you. Cases dating back 40 years are now solved tonight. And a DNA sample from an unlikely place is what helped authorities track this man down. This is Stephen Hessler. He is now charged tonight in a string of home invasions and sexual assaults in Shelby County dating back to the 80s. Then investigators were searching for a serial rapist who had been breaking into homes and assaulting women for three years. A new DNA analysis from a garage and an envelope pointed investigators right to Hessler. And that is when he was arrested. I guess the message is uh, if you decide to do some type of crime, especially a serious crime, don't think you got away with it after a while. Um, we will stay on it. DNA technology has helped solve several cases recently. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us how investigators are using it to bring families closure. Justice after 38 years. 10 sexual assault victims now feeling relief thanks to science and tenacity. Don't think you got away with it after a while. Um, we will stay on it. Shelbyville police arresting Stephen Ray Hessler. He's now charged in a string of home invasions and haunting sexual assaults. The crimes spanning from 1982 to 85. One husband, he was tied up and beaten uh, while the wife was also being assaulted. Uh, he suffered permanent disabilities. During that encounter, investigators say forensic teams were able to gather DNA from a swab of the suspect's fluid left on a garage floor back then. You had to have a pretty substantial and pristine sample to send into the lab. Doug Coons is a former FBI agent, now a private investigator with Veracity IIR. Nowadays, you can have just a tiny sample. It can be degraded uh, and the, it can be chemically purified and enhanced. The case steered toward Michael Kenyon in 2002, better known as the Illinois Enema Bandit. His MO matched the cases, but further DNA improvements cleared him. Investigators began to think they had a copycat. This took some great work by these investigators. In 2019, Shelby County contacted DNA researchers at Parabon Nano Labs. It's the same technology that got the Golden State Bill. In that case, the technology determined that these family members are probably related to the subject. Parabon came back with two possible suspects, Hessler or his relative. Investigators were able to gather his DNA from an envelope he sent to pay utility bills. We sent that off for testing and it came out uh, to be that the, that person was likely the contributor of that sample. In a search of his home, police found items similar to the crimes and a VHS tape with connections similar to Kenyon's crimes. They're working on where you can get basic characteristics about a person based on their DNA. Phenotyping like hair color or eye color. In 20 to 30 years, perhaps science can. Print out some sort of a rudimentary picture based on a DNA profile. Solve the case on the spot. Coons also says it is now standard procedure for law enforcement to get a DNA swab when they process violent criminals. It's helped build a larger database for forensic scientists to actually work with. Dan? 